Hey everybody, Jay, Krista, Sadie Forever coming at you for our book Friday. <laughs> I had to Happy remember Friday. what day it is. And we are doing waffles and spaghetti at home. And I'm not talking about pancakes and waffles and syrup. I'm talking about us. So, because men are like waffles, women are, women like, are like spaghetti. spaghetti. We've been going through that book for quite a few weeks now. Yep. And um, because men are like in their little boxes, like waffles, and women are a big mess of spaghetti. That's right. You guys are having fun. <laughs> you were actually saying earlier today that you were feeling... No, it's because you were multitasking. I said, you are like a woman. Yeah, and then I told her I'm feeling very emotional right now. <laughs> he <laughs> was folding some laundry. He was... Running uh, errands. Setting oh, up yeah. our video. Running oh, yeah. errands. There was a lot going on. He was being some spaghetti today. Yeah, yeah. You were doing it well. Thank you. <laughs> so today we're actually talking about waffles and spaghetti at home, which basically means um, the chores. All, you know, who does what in your house? Um, the question that they posed was, uh, are there chores that are best handled by women or handled by men? Is it a stereotypical kind of men and women? How does I, it work in your house? For Krista and I, we divide it. I, I don't think it's... We're trying to be stereotypical, but Chris would much rather have me go and gas the car and also <laughs> uh, get the oil changed, get a flat tire fixed. I mean, the basics, mm -hmm. maintenance of the car, the basics mm -hmm. and stuff like that, where I can't sew to save my life. So obviously I'm going to ask her to fix my coat or my shirt or whatever yeah, so of, i mean there is some things that some are of, strengths and weaknesses some of what we've done because i was a homemaker for 17 years are very stereotypical uh, we kind of started out that way but we've also changed and adjusted through the years sure as i owned a business and as you had more time and then yeah. i had more time and now we're both home, which that's a big mess of who does what. <laughs> well, it hasn't been a big mess. I mean, <laughs> beings that I have, well, I had for a lot of free time. Now I'm, I'm been doing the home inspections, but um, when I had a lot of free time, I've tried to, you know, do the dishes, do the laundry, vacuum when I can. Um, so, I mean, a lot of kind of throwing things around mm -hmm. for the... Yeah, so you know. we want to ask you, put it in the comments. Do yeah. you think that there are roles that definitely men and women should do? Do you think that it has more to do with who is available, who has the time? Uh, do you have something different that you do in your house? Um, also, what are those stereotypical, um, you know, roles? Like... A lot of times society has kind of made those, yeah. but then society has changed. So I think those are always changing too. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There's a lot more women in the workforce today mm -hmm. as opposed to like the book says in the fifties. Yeah. You know? Well, and then or now I think, now I don't think that there really is so much stereotypical. It really mm -hmm. ha doesn't have to do with gender. It's who's available. Right. And so it depends on what your careers are, what your schedule is. Yeah. Um, you know, so I think that a lot of it now is just whoever's available. Sure. Who's got the most time to help in that area? Who has the most time to help in this area? You know, um, who doesn't like to get out in the cold and put gas in their car? <laughs> who does it? <laughs> I go get the car washed, I get it gassed, I get the oil changed, I fill up the fluids, uh -huh. I check everything. Yeah. And but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go in your studio and sew something for myself either. So Are you saying that my only ability is to sew? No. What no, saying, I'm not Jay? saying that. I'm I'm saying that <laughs> I'm saying that I'm just, I don't have that talent. Yeah. But what other things I mean I, I You do a lot. You I cook, do. you clean, you vacuum, you do lots of different things. You keep mm -hmm. us on a strict budget. Mm-hmm. You know. Budgeting is my skill. <laughs> Queen of the budgets right here, folks. Definitely, so that brings us definitely. to, you know, um, that it might be uh, also your personality and your ability in that area, too. So 
one of you might be really good at cooking and one of you may be really bad at cooking. And so yeah. whoever has that ability can do that a little bit more. Yeah, let's go down that road. So <laughs> when we eat, when I cook, it's either chicken in the crock pot or chicken in the oven. Um, it's either grilled cheese sandwiches or we'll eat breakfast for dinner. Tacos. Tacos. Lots of tacos. Tacos. Which are really good. Yeah, I like making tacos. He, he's I like very good eating at tacos. tacos. But if we want something like really good, she'll make it. <laughs> you know, I got basic cooking skills. She's got like over the top cooking skills. She can make uh, some really good food. Thank you. Yeah. You make well, really good food. Well, mine are more from scratch and some of the stuff that I learned. Well, you yours know. is not all processed like mine. Mm -hmm. But we do tend to share that because I don't have a lot of time or energy. You don't have a lot of time or energy. Well, especially now. So we kind of mix it up yeah. in that area. Especially now. Yeah. Okay, so in the gender roles, the book was talking about, that we're talking about here, it was actually saying that there are some things, men are good at tasks individually. Like they like to do one task at a time, just like the yeah. waffle box. If they are working on the car, they wanna be working on the car. If they want to be doing some yard work, they're doing some yard work. If they're doing laundry, they're doing laundry. You know, they do one task at a time really, really well. Right. And then they want to finish that task. And then they want to look back and be proud of that task. And it kind of is connected to um, their self-worth a little bit. You know, whether they completed that. Well, it's exciting because we finished something. Mm -hmm. Like in hobbies, when they finish those, they want to sit back and look at it and sure. be praised for it and stuff. Sure. Where women will grab a bunch of tasks and be doing <laughs> them all at once. They'll be vacuuming and, you know, baking some bread and, um, you know, answering emails and figuring out the schedule for the kids and doing multiple stuff. And that frustrates most men. Now, there's probably some men that are really good at that, but... That's because most men, mm -hmm. most, not mm -hmm. all, but most, aren't good at multitasking. I mean, mm -hmm. I've I've gotten better at it because I've been married to you, so. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, you did really good today multitasking. Yeah, today was an yeah. exceptional day. And I think that the key to this entire thing is looking at it, yes, there are some different things that we're better at just because of being a man and a woman. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, you can pull the jar... You know, oh, you, you're stronger yeah. and you are you can do some things because you're stronger or because you're taller. I, I see what you're saying. Or reach things yeah. that I can't reach or whatever. But um, also looking at it, how did we grow up? You know, um, mm. what you felt like growing up, you felt like that was the woman and the man's role. What I grew up, you know, you want to look at what your spouse yeah. thinks of and talk about that thing you know, those things. And then um, you want to also um, look at the different, all the different skills and all that. So the key is mm -hmm. communication. Again, yeah. communication is yeah. the key to uh, all of these areas. So what you want to do is you want to sit down with your spouse. You want to say, these are my strengths. These are your strengths. This is our availability. This is, and then go through all of those things and see what is uh, best for your home, correct? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. you know, he was talking in it about that women tend to be better at scheduling things, like having a calendar with all of, you know, Johnny has to go to baseball and, you know, um, Victoria's going to ballet lessons and, you know, trying to keep all of that. Women tend to be really good at that. So, and here's, <clears throat> here's something I started doing, which is excellent. And Krista is the one who started it off. So on your cell phone, it has, you know, timers and alarms and all this stuff. So she would schedule alarms to go off when she needed some to take care of something important. Well, I saw what she was doing on her phone to be more organized for scheduling, like uh, going to the doctors or going to the dentist or whatever. So she could set the alarm to ring, you know, a half hour, an hour before that appointment. And it comes up and it reminds you so you can stay mm -hmm. on task and, and just take care of one thing at a time. Me, my waffle boxes, you, you got it all covered on your phone. <laughs> 
but it's been good because I've adapted what you've done uh -huh. on your cell phone to my cell phone. Nice. So I've taken what you do and applied it to my own, and it made my life a lot easier. <laughs> yeah. So that's so just something if, that we do, you know, or I do. Where you can, you're like trying to focus on that one thing, you can tend to forget what's on the rest mm -hmm. of the schedule for the day. Oh, yeah. Or, Heck yeah, you, know, you always need a, well, I, I always need a reminder. I he mean. was talking about where he was, they were going on a trip, um, Bill in here, and um, he had all these things that she's like, I, I have to go to work, I have to do this, this, and this. I need you to pick up my dry cleaning, I need you to do this, and this, and this. And uh, he got home, and they were leaving the next day on the airplane. And he got home, and she yeah, said right away, um, did you go to the dry, dry cleaners? cleaners? Yeah. He didn't. He had forgotten it because <laughs> it was too much. It was multitasking. And Not good. it happened to be the outfit she was wearing that week, and they were leaving on an airplane. Well, that she was going to wear that morning. Yeah. She was wearing that outfit. No, at the conference that they were going to. Or Are you whatever. sure? I thought he. Never mind. <laughs> it's irrelevant, but yeah. it was important to her point. So basically, I mean. the dry cleaner is a had closed and she had to be late. she had to be super forgiving um yeah. which is good lots of mercy and grace there but um the thing is is if he would have had an alarm on his phone that said don't forget to take the dry cleaner yeah. or go pick up the dry cleaners well and now you guys see why i say that you know i started doing what krista does with the alarms yeah it's it's a good idea but i really think that communication and sitting down sure. and figuring it out and then compromising and also always adjusting that right through the years we've adjusted and readjusted well you have to every everything's always going to change nothing's going to mm -hmm. say typically nothing is going to stay the same so yeah you've got to adjust you've got to work together so another thing they did in here is they had you ask the question find out what's really important to each of you so that's going to put what you guys see as a priority and you might have a different priority than your husband does what is important to you like keeping a perfectly clean house or you know what is what is important and there's actually a test and i thought i'd run through that really quick mm -hmm. that you want to do with your spouse um and basically you're going to give it each person Let's see. There, one, two, you're gonna, or three. One, two, or three. So one means it's very important. Um, you will keep it on your number one activities. Number two and number three, it kind of goes down to less important. So here's, here's some key ones um, that will help you schedule which are the important uh, chores. So being in, a good, in good physical shape. Is that one, two, or three in your world? Oh, there's a little nap. Yeah, to get I see you. that. <laughs> um, that's probably middle of the road. That's two. I think it's two for me, too. I'm not looking to be Arnold. <laughs> you know? I know there's some people that, you know, their whole lives they were picked on, so they choose so to that's one. look like Arnold Schwarzenegger. So Me, not really. If your spouse or you put that as a number one, you're going to make sure that in your schedule, that is a chore or a task right. that you make sure is done. Right. Um, having a neat, clean home. That's a number one to me. That's a one, yeah. That's. But is that a one to you? It's a one to me if it's a one to her. <laughs> ah, that's a good answer. Yeah. <laughs> Who's, who's going to want to rock the boat on that one? <laughs> Not me. Okay, so cleaning up should be top priority. If it's important to you, it's important to me. Having family finances in order. It's a one to me. Yeah, it's a two to me. <laughs> but I lean more towards the one because of you. So. Which then, that's going to be on my priority list. So probably I'll be the one doing the budget and taking care of those things. Sure. Um, maintaining correspondence. Ooh, that's an old word. That means answering emails, uh, maybe sending out Christmas cards. Depends on what it is to me. Mm -hmm. Depends on what it is to me. It's about a two to me. <laughs> if my mom calls me, it's a one. If, if it's a home warranty call, 
that's a three or a five. It's just, I don't really care about the warranty. <laughs> or car warranty. Your car extended. What about warranty. sending out Christmas cards? That's or, a two. Or birthday cards. That's a two or a three. I, I'm just not a big card guy. I don't know. Okay. So answer these with your spouse and wherever yeah. you rank really high, you probably want to do some of those chores. And where he ranks high, he wants to do some of those chores. However, you're going to also reach out and help each other. Yeah. Um, having quality intimacy and romance. Oh. <laughs> used to be a one. It's probably a two or three now. It, it's, it's, there, we have, and that's what a lot of couples, and you guys probably won't understand, but we have so many other priorities that that typically it takes a back seat not like all the time but it typically isn't a number one priority we have to do this to make this happen it's it's not so much anymore which is sad because we do a marriage channel and we try to encourage you guys to take time and spend with each other isn't that sad well and it's a little hard for us <laughs> when we live in idaho and it's there's nothing to do snowy and cold and miserable and hey i mean we do watch a movie sometimes that's true together that's or true. hang out together that's or true. have dinner together or lifetime yep pray together so we do some it's we do just a lot different. of other things yeah you're thinking of the yeah the fun dates yeah we don't do fun dates <laughs> sometimes okay <coughs> having time with your children okay so this is if you're a parent overseeing homework team parent going to their things you know what's important to you you need to figure that out because those need to be top priority and then the stuff that's not as much of a priority you need to kind of let some stuff go because you can only do so much yeah um, you can't do it all having fun as a family trips vacations kick around time one of the things for us when we had children that were at home especially towards the end of their junior high high school lives a once a year family vacation was important and we yeah. put everything aside financially everything just so we could do that yeah for sure and i'm glad we did because that now was it's some over. of the most that's was some of the the most highlighted times mm -hmm. with our children is when we did those things when we traveled yeah. and we went to the ocean or to the beach or whatever whether it's california oregon mm -hmm. washington wherever you and know, now, Yellowstone, Yosemite. We have all the time in the world without them because they're all over the country. <laughs> yeah, well, we plan on doing some trips this year, remember? Yeah, maybe so. go see them. So, um, succeeding in careers, how important is that to you? And, and that's going to change per season, too. <laughs> right now, he is studying round the clock and so it's kind of his number well, one I've thing. Well I've got my certification but it's mm -hmm. it's the other additional certifications that I'm working on. Mm -hmm. But I mean to me that's really important right now. That's taken the so that's going to change so yeah, you need to be having right these conversations uh, monthly, seasonally, yearly mm -hmm. to figure yeah. everything out. Yeah. Um, having a personal ministry involvement in church this is one that is important to us, the personal ministry, and that has to do with this channel. Yeah. So we block out time just to do the videos, and we had to tell people, nope, can't do that, can't do that. Yeah. Um, we do those, the videos on that time period. Yeah. We try to make sure we at least we do one, possibly two. Mm -hmm. um, in the beginning, we were doing four, but four gets a little overwhelming. Well, and I think yeah. our priorities in life, because of you having to study changed right. and so that kind of had to take a back seat that became a two instead of a a one that's true where yeah. your studies and your career became the one for a moment and it's right. just a season it's right. just a season right um having a nice car uh, i already have a nice car so it's not a priority anymore <laughs> and I don't care what kind of car I have yeah, as I, long as it runs. I have mine now, so I don't, it doesn't, that's not so a So that's a three on my, on my scale. I'm probably at a two. Um, extra curricular activities, community involvement, career enhancement, um, all of that kind of stuff. 
other outside activities. Well, if it ever warms up, I mean, we can go play tennis again, too. I love playing tennis with you, so, mm -hmm. yeah. you know. We so can... right now there are three. Yeah. Soon to be a two. It's going to be a one as soon as it gets warm. <laughs> Achieve, achieving more financial success. That's a one. I think we're both, right now we're both driven in that d direction, and I think we both would like to see the savings accounts higher. Yeah. Um, and our house paid off. And there's other goals that we're going to have for this year that we tried to accomplish last year, but that didn't happen. Yeah. Because of my health and all that stuff. So now mm -hmm. we can move forward and drive. Be flexible. Yeah. We can drive it. <laughs> drive we're just going to take last year's goals and put them on this year. Yeah. <laughs> uh, furthering your education, which we just talked about that. Yeah. You've been doing that. Yeah. Um, Having time alone, how important is that? One, two, or three? Mm, that's a one. It's a one for you? I think it's a one. A, a time you talking alone together or I think by it's ourselves? A time alone. I don't really need time alone. I'd rather hang out with you. Yeah, and I need time alone. <laughs> Only because I just am an introvert, so I have to have quiet time. <laughs> that's true. That's true. I thought you were hitting, hit, taking a hit at me. No. You're saying because you're an introvert, you need to recharge your batteries. Yeah. Yeah. I have to have time that is just quiet. With yeah. No, nothing, not, no TV, no radio. Just and our quiet. best friends live across the street. And, and um, my friend's wife, uh, she's that same way as Krista. She has to have uh, time to recharge her batteries as well, too. Mm -hmm. So her and Krista are two peas in a pod when it comes to that. Just yeah. quiet time. We're really close friends that really don't hang out because we both need quiet time. <laughs> that's why we like each other because that's true because that's true. we give each other space yeah you guys don't you guys don't require the other one to be there like every weekend oh you got to come over we got to talk we yeah. got to have tea we got to have coffee it's like no yeah if you guys jointly decide to get together and talk then you guys will. If not, you guys are like no big deal. Yeah, it doesn't affect our friendship. Yeah, which is good. Which a lot of my friends are far, far away. So uh, I actually, I like, I don't know. I, I enjoy friendship and, and everything and being with people. And I hope someday to yeah. be able to uh, go hang out with them. Um, but it doesn't lower my friendship to somebody just because there's mm -hmm. miles between us. No, um, it's not a big yeah. deal. I can stay really close friends. Okay. Yeah. Spending time with God. That's for me. That's a one. one. Yeah. And so important. you have to put that into your schedule. Yeah. Um. And then taking time with mates, talking, relaxing. Yeah. Um, and we were talking about. I don't sure. know. Some of these crossed over. Creating time for a hobby. How important is a hobby to you right now? Mm, it's probably a two. It's probably in the middle of the road. Mm -hmm. Um. Everybody on here knows that my hobby is feeding my squirrels in the backyard right now. I know that sounds stupid, but that's okay. I love it. To each his own. I mean, we've got one little Gertrude that will just come right up to either of us <laughs> and take the peanuts right from our hand and stuff. And I'm going to work on this year, I'm going to work on her uh, climbing up my pant leg in my shirt and I'll give it to her like up closer mm -hmm. to me so she will learn that it, I'm not... Uh, a threat you know mm -hmm. so yeah I I think it's gonna be yeah it's gonna be good anyway that was I don't have time for hobbies so although I have been doing like some coloring and some trying out some lettering like yeah the watercolor lettering. lettering yeah and yeah you have that's more of like quiet mm -hmm. time to myself so maybe I just categorize it different yeah. so basically what they're saying is that you need to have a discussion with your spouse Figure mm -hmm. out what is important to you. If if having um, a clean house is number one, yeah, then you need to have right at the top of the list. You know, a schedule of we need to vacuum every day. We need have to dust this. Oh, yeah. You know, we need to keep those dishes clean. And how are we yeah. gonna do that? Who's going to do it? When? You know, one person might like I'll be doing the dishes in the morning. You'll be doing the dishes in the evening. Well, another part to that too is one of you might be a morning person, the other one might be an eat a night oh, yeah. owl or whatever. Not that you want to wake up the morning person like in the middle of the night because the night owl wants to do dishes. That's mm -hmm. not what I'm saying. But towards the evening, 
if the person that's full of energy at night, yeah, you know, really right before bed, they can vacuum or they can do laundry or they can do the dishes, you mm -hmm. know, if there's any dishes left to do. But, and then the other person that sleeps in a little bit, then the morning person, if they've got all this burst of energy, they can start working on yeah. stuff, you know. And if each one does that, it'll, everything will stay clean and organized yeah. and picked up well, and vacuumed. And, and then I was thinking, too, um, they have it where you kind of start to really figure out who's going to gas the car, right. who's going to shovel the driveway, who's going to um, do dishes, who's going to do this, and really working that out so that you guys can work out a system and all that. Mm -hmm. However, I'm going to say to add on to that, even if it's not on your plate, to do the dishes, if even if it's not on your plate to do shovel the driveway, getting out there and helping shovel the driveway, getting out there and jumping in is a gift that you can give your spouse. Yeah, she shoveled the driveway when I was shoveling the sidewalks and along the mm -hmm. street edge the last time we had a big snowstorm. Mm -hmm. That was impressive. I was like, wow, she's out here getting I needed it, some man. exercise. You did. Yeah. And you did a great job. And it's not that that was really on my responsibility mm -hmm. plate because mm -hmm. I still had some other stuff to do, but I'm like, right. you know what? I'm going to jump out there and help him. So I think it's, it's communicating, kind of setting what you guys hope for. Yeah. And then jumping in and helping each other. And you're on the same team. Mm -hmm. You should be working for the same goal. You're both, you know, if having a clean house is more my thing, yeah. he still wants to help me get my thing and yeah. whatever's on his plate i want to help him achieve that achieve yeah. that yeah work together yeah and that's the that's the key yeah so for sure but you have anything else to add to that no i i think that we gave them some stuff to think about um, we could add that it, funny it was a good it was a good chapter you want to add that funny story about the butler box yeah so <laughs> <laughs> this lady, <clears throat> this lady tells, is it Pam? Is yeah. Telling, <clears throat> she's telling Pam that she has this thing they call the butler box. And so they put, if, something, if something is left lying around, they put it in the butler box. And to get something out of the butler box, you just don't walk over to it and grab it. You have to do five minutes worth of chores to, to get, get something it, to out, get of out of the butler box. And so Pam says, that's a great idea for your family, you know, and your kids. And she goes, I don't have any kids. That's for my husband. <laughs> so that was a great, a great story. So we need a butler box. Yeah. Except for the funny thing is, um, even though I'm the one that wants the house clean, I still have a lot of junk around here. So I think I would lose my phone. I would Hers lose is mainly keys. Her car keys. keys. She keys can't find her and keys. Phone. Yeah, your phone too. It's a big mess. Your keys and phone. Usually I have my phone. I'd have to so. be doing all kinds of chores to get out my <clears throat> my stuff out of the butler box. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I think I'd, I mean, I'd be right there with you, so. Mm -hmm. Anyway. <laughs> oh. Is that it? Yep. All right. <laughs> okay, guys, we'll see you at the, Happy on the flip side of the next video. Mm -hmm. um, Saturday morning coffee or one of the other ones. Yeah. And then whatever do, next video we do. Whatever, yeah. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Anyway, Jay Krista say I do forever. Come in, I have Book Friday. <laughs> Love you guys. See you guys. Bye.